Hey guys, what's going on? So uh, today we are shipping out a, another gecko. Don't forget, uh, red stripe towards the animal. Gonna go over, over, find my tape. Get some tape, over, over, tape it down, of course. You can see the red stripe through it. I don't know if you can see that on the video. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. So we're going to go like that. I'm going to take myself a long piece of tape. I'm going to go boom, boom, wrap it around, go over here, wrap it, and give it a little, give it a little tag there. So, you know, this is the idea. You got the tag. You can pull it up. You don't got to dig at it. Problem solved. Uh, today, we are going to be shipping out a special little gecko. I, uh, I'm doing a trade for some artwork. So, you know, like I said before, guys, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get that, get my piece of tape ready. Uh, come here, baby. Come here. Oh, well, I should probably weigh her. Okay, hold the phone. So this is a uh, giant bloodline. Tremper patternless female. 58 grams, 57, 58, something like that. She will be ready to breed later this year. And, uh, yeah. So, what we do, we put her in here. Wrap her around. She's nice and snug. She can turn around in circles. That's the idea. I am using one of these because that's what I'm doing this time. TG1349 female giant Bloodline TPA hatched on 06 30 13 40. What did I say? I said 57. Ah, uh, 57 grams. So she's nice and snug in there. I would have put her in one of the round ones, but her belly is really, uh, she's, she's actually ready to breed. I think she's ovulating last I checked, but just for safety, I didn't want to, uh, do that. So, as always, put our little, that's just a receipt. I didn't do a, um, genetic background because these are all what you would just call F1 of the project. So it's easy to just uh, email pictures of the parents. It's not like there's, you know, five or more generations of information that I need to give somebody. If it was something like that, like the Total Eclipse project, I have to send a CD because there's just way too much information to, uh, to do that. So, all right, that looks good. Put a little bit of these to the side. Put our top on. And this little girl is going to Michigan. Oh God, you know what I didn't do? Oh jeez. Can you go? 
guess what I didn't do? I wonder if anybody's paying attention. You know what I didn't do? Can you guys guess? Anybody know? What's the rule? Secure your animal. All right. So let's try this again. Shove some little peanuts on the sides. It's a good thing that I'm paying attention, huh? So, you want to make sure you get stuff on the sides because it's going to shake around in there and if if the if the deli cup has a a way to shake, then she's not going to feel very secure. So, I like packing peanuts. They work really good. I'm happy I started using that. I'm looking for the other variety, the uh, old school type. I don't like these these ones. They're biodegradable and uh, organic. So they're the staples packed in peanuts. Really, uh, I'm not fond of them. Oh, and uh, this this is going to Jacob. Uh, I didn't write on the deli cup, but she was egg number 77, so if you're watching this, and we'll go ahead and put our little piece of tape across the top, and yes, I'm reusing a box just because Save a dollar. I'm doing this trade shipped. He's shipping the piece of artwork and I'm shipping the gecko. And uh, $71.83 to ship this. So, yes, I am using a recycled box, but it's all good. And this box does not have any uh, air holes, so I'll do it where I know that there's no animal. There we go. Okay. All right, now I will affix my uh, shipping label, and I will see you all later.